Now I have lots of videos of Klaus for reference on how to get a dog better with the Dremel. This is going to talk about just conditioning because you have to keep up conditioning. You can't just do it once a month if your dog struggles. I like to use a platform. We're using a toy box with larger dogs. Obviously that's hard to do. Two people is best when you're new at this. So he knows what the platform means. This is his fourth day in a row doing this, taking food beautifully. I don't know why all of a sudden he decided today he wasn't going to take food, but that's the case. We still do the work. So I always give a few pieces of food before I start. Then you want to turn the Dremel on. If your dog is good with that, takes a piece of food. See the quick swipes I'm making? Really quick, easy swipes on each nail. And I'm not putting a lot of pressure on. And I'll tell you why I'm not using a lot of pressure in a minute. But I will do a few swipes on two nails, give a piece of food. Your dog might not even be able to handle that. It might be one swipe, good food. One swipe, good food makes a little massage in. Now notice how I'm holding the feet. This uh, with a big dog, you need someone there to hold the head. Also, if your dog still might be gunning for you <laughs> or gunning for the Dremel, we don't, we don't always do it this way. Um, it's especially with the front paws. We want to be able to see what's happening and what the dog is doing. But once your dog is in a good space, they're just really uncomfortable. He started taking a little bit of food there. They're just really uncomfortable. Then uh, you can start to do this. And it truly is just one swipe on each paw. Really quick and easy. And you don't put, again, you don't put a lot of pressure on the nail itself. When you hold down a Dremel on a nail, they can start to feel heat. Plus, it's just a scary feeling, right? But it's definitely my favorite way to do it because it doesn't actually squeeze the nail like clippers do. Every now and then I come across a dog better with clippers, but not very often. So this is an example of a dog brand new to this. I'm doing one or two swipes. I leave the Dremel on, put it down, say good, give a piece of food. And he looks like he's half taking it now. <laughs> he did start to take it again. And if, he, if your dog's not taking food, you do, I did three, four, looks like I'm doing several swipes on this one. Um, if you do a couple swipes and your dog isn't taking food, just put the Dremel down and just pause for a second. Don't continue to put a ton of pressure on your dog. So maybe they don't take food today, but if you let them breathe in between each swipe for just a few seconds, they will build their tolerance over time. Now I gotta say something real quick about this Dremel. We have another type of Dremel that is better for the dew claws. His type of hair gets sucked into dew claws and that's the only thing he really gave us any trouble on. And uh, we used a different type of Dremel that actually has a protector over it. It's just not as strong. So that's why we only use it when we have to. But keep that in mind. These things suck in their fur. But that really is it. So three to five minutes. I'd like you to do it every other day for a month. If you only have 45 minutes to walk your dog, then five minutes of it is this. Like It's that important when you're trying to condition drummeling to your dog, okay? So please keep that in mind. Now I'm just going through, again, we've been doing five to 10 minute increments three times a day, several days in a row. You don't have to go crazy. You don't have to do that. <laughs> Definitely will get your dog more comfortable with it. But, um, but every other day is fine for a few minutes for the first month. The second month, keep it up twice a week. The third month, keep it up once a week. And I would maintain that once or twice a week for a few months if your dog is really, really tough. And I got to tell you, when it comes to conditioning and desensitizing, I'll be honest, your dog might get in a really, really great spot. But then let's say life hits you. And you don't even drumble your dog's nails when you're supposed to. You go two, three months without doing it and they've gotten kind of long. You might feel like you're starting back at scratch. You can't just drumble them all down to where they need to be on your first go. It's not going to happen. And don't do one foot it makes them feel weird. You just go through and do your swipes each leg several times a day for a few days. That's really important. Now, I don't want him to think he can just fly off of here or that this just represents the Dremel. So he gets a little massage um, when we're finished. A lot of it is because he also wasn't keen on food today for some reason. And so uh, I'm going to spend a little extra time up here with him, giving him some calm attention. <laughs> 